Did you catch something? Did you catch something? I cannot believe we just got that picture. Here we are. Let's go check it out. I'm the first one here. Alex and Jake are gonna be a couple hours behind me. Uh, so I've got the whole suite to myself. Wow, he's walking without the cane. That, that's new. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's in that Patreon. $3.99. No cane? No cane. No, we're good. All I got is the boot. Full weight. Hell yes. And we're off. <laughs> All right, these two hooligans have made it here. Oh, hey, hey, guys. Hey. All right, how do we feel, people? How do we feel? I'm okay. feeling good. I'm feeling good. This is, it's giving me similar vibes to Lafayette right now. I mean, honestly, I'm expecting a similar night almost now. But I will say, we, got, yeah. we walk right in and immediately the cat ball goes off. I'm sitting right there. Yeah, well, I told you it was going off when I was here by myself. And we happy. tried debunking it too. I just want y'all to know that we're big on debunking things. If we get it to, to go off or whatever, we'll try again. And we tried. I even took my big old boot to the table and still nothing went off. So uh, I'm hoping that's a welcoming. That's there, what you have, that's to, how you have to smack the everlasting hell out of it. All right, fellas. Hey, look, it's my canyon. Well, we got about an hour and 20-ish so minutes uh, before the tour. So I almost checked the wash that was not on my hand. Let's get, let's get all this stuff charged and chill out for a little bit. Let's get it charged and set up. Let's set up, before, set up cameras. Before you cut it. Just so they shut up. Oh, uh, I know what he's saying. My freaking, my students. Oh, we need to shout out? Yes. I'm not saying, y'all know who you are. I um, told you I'm not saying names. Here's your shout out. You're welcome. Woo! Now leave me alone. Big shout out to <laughs> Mr. King. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. That's all I needed. Okay. All right. Well, we'll catch you on the other side of the tour. Of the tour. The tour. Of the mm. tour. Mm -hmm. So we haven't even started yet. Yeah. And this cat ball over here is going crazy. There's nothing. Hey guys. There's nothing moving in this room. There's nothing moving in the in the building to make it even. Well, all we've been doing is we were talking about kind of just. So I'm turning spear yeah. tug around while Jake's talking. By the way. And we uh, we're just kind of chilling. Like literally, we were just sitting here just bullshitting. We're about to go on a tour. Yeah. We yeah. We're not even really starting yet. Waiting for the, waiting, waiting to I walk think, over to the tour. Yeah, we got a couple more minutes before we start getting ready. Oh my god, dude. And we're noticing that if y'all watch Lafayette, which if you haven't, you better fucking go watch it, buddy. This is similar right now. Except we didn't really have cat balls go off at Lafayette. Not really, we, no. No, we, um, no have, we had a we had a, we had a talker, rem pod, rem pod and stuff like that. The sensitive ass rem pod too. Yeah. I'm just there it goes. Dude. Perfect. Yeah. Forget what I said a second ago. Cut that out. I'm going to. Bro. I hope the microphone got that. <laughs> Did you fart? <laughs> this man just ripped ass. He just over there sitting ripped. next to me. As y'all know, we took August off because of, you know. And my boot's right there. I just need to tear, tear it out. And uh, we are just so excited to get back into this stuff. We've missed it so much that we're just, right now we're just having fun. I'm a giddy little bitch. As we sit here right now, we are sitting at exactly 400 subscribers. We are, and we all know the big number we're shooting for. If we gain 600 subscribers, we go to the content house. Total Obviously, of 1,000. So the goal of 1,000. All right, well, I just wanted to capture some of that. That's uh, crazy. We got Actually, we should probably start. We should probably start walking. I can boot up. So, uh, I can boot up. Let's go. Uh, let's go learn about. Let's go learn about Harper's, Harper's Ferry. Ferry, buddy. Founded in 1734, Harper's Ferry would eventually play a pivotal role in America's history. The small town at the conjunction of the Shenandoah and Potomac Rivers, as well as the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, would be selected by George Washington as home to one of the country's federal armories. In October of 1859, an abolitionist by the name of John Brown would lead a raid on Harper's Ferry with 18 men 
in an attempt to initiate a slave revolt in the South. After a 36-hour standoff, John Brown's raid would fail. He would be captured and subsequently hanged in nearby Charlestown. Many would credit John Brown's raid as one of the sparks that would ignite the American Civil War. It would be during the Civil War that the armory here in Harpers Ferry would be destroyed, and the town itself would change hands multiple times, but eventually won by the South in an attack led by General Stonewall Jackson. A black man named Dangerfield Newby, who was freed by his white father, was attempting to free his wife and seven children who were being held as slaves in Warrington, Virginia. His wife's master would decide to sell Dangerfield, his wife and his youngest child back for $1,500. Dangerfield went out and did what he could to come up with the money. He eventually did. He came back to the master and the master raised the price, which in turn caused Dangerfield to join John Brown's raid. The town caught word of the insurrection and they gathered all the townspeople and all the guns that they had and prepared for a fight. Without access to ammunition, they loaded anything and everything they could into their rifles. When the raid began, the first casualty was Dangerfield Newby himself. A rifle loaded with a railroad spike shot Newby directly in the neck. While Newby was bleeding to death, the angered townspeople took rusty knives and were stabbing and mutilating his body. And then soon after, drug him to what is known as Hog Alley and left him there to be consumed by the hogs that would roam there. People say if you walk around Hog Alley at night, you will see a man dressed in period clothing, all black, with a scar across his neck, with piercing blue eyes. And if you see that man, you'll come into contact with Dangerfield himself. During the Civil War, the 1799N was used for military meetings. During one of these meetings, a young spy whose cover was blown fled into the building seeking refuge, not knowing his enemies were inside. When he made it to the top floor, he attempted to gain entry, but sadly was greeted with gunfire. Fast forward to the 1960s, when a woman named Shirley Doherty purchased the building and turned it into a restaurant. She, as well as many others, will report hearing someone running up the stairs, a doorknob frantically rattling, a loud bang, and then finally, someone tumbling down the stairs. This is said to be the residual haunting of that young spy's last moments. Shirley would go on to write about this, as well as many other ghost stories in Harper's Ferry, and would start what is now the oldest ghost tour in America. To any spirit in Harper's Ferry, 1799N, to the militia that was uh, stationed up in this house, and to the people that shot that poor kid just trying to hide, you're more than welcome to come talk to us. Use anything we have, use the energy we're giving off in this room, whether it be devices, whether it be hell, whether it be me, you're more than welcome. So if there's anybody that does want to talk, make a noise, go right ahead. There is a door right, right there that leads to the attic. So if we hear footsteps above us, there's nobody up there. Promise. There's a bunch of storage stuff on the stairs. So I'm wondering at one point in time if that was where they originally came up there. I don't want to hit the music box. Um, that room back there is just creepy. So we know about the militia that was here. Oh, that freaked me out. Now it's quiet. It just got dumb quiet. It just got there. dumb quiet. All right, I'm gonna stop moving just in case. Cause in, could anyone in this room, including the spy that's known to relive that horrible night over and over and over again, could you tell me his name? You can use that device that's over there near the vase. Or whisper it to one of us. Ten o'clock. Ten thirty-four. Ten o'clock. Did you set something off at ten o'clock or is that when it got shot? Cause a lot of this energy up here is residual. But in any battlefield situation where so much bloodshed was I truly believe there's always a dark, darker feeling energy because multiple people died. 
So, and if you believe that we're all energies and we die and we, some, some people aren't happy. And there was also very, very evil people during that time. So as you saw earlier, you had a lot of action with that setting right there. I'm gonna back off like right here. I'm gonna stay still and not move. So we put the ball up to whomever was using it earlier. Obviously, you used it when our attention was off of it, which is okay, we're not mad. And then you kept going with it. So you're more than welcome to come back and give it a little uh, kick. My buddy Alex is in there all alone. To any spirit in Harper's Ferry, doesn't have to be from the inn. We want to talk to everyone. So if you can hear me, obviously the spirit world is a little different than what we're hearing. I'm trying not to be too loud, but I'm sure something along the lines will feel us and hear us. Yeah, that can... You felt that? Or you, you heard that, I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to get like residual, but I'm also trying to get things that are, you know, intellectual. Something to talk to us. Something is talking to us, but I feel like whatever's talking to us isn't necessarily here. Here is somebody says. This is when you cut to that camera. Edmund, 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 Edmund. Jake just asked a question if there was anyone in here with me. And I said, Edmund. Are you in here, Edmund? Encounter. Are we going to encounter Edmund? Edmund, if you're in here, can you show me by moving that ball that's right in front of me on the ground? I'm not turning it off. You want to run an EVP in here? Well, it sounds like a flash of light. Through here? Yeah. Right back. I don't know if it's maybe the reflective stuff, but... Yeah, we can do that. Prowl. On the prowl. Prowl. Because <laughs> I feel like we don't do these enough. No, we definitely don't. That's me. My bad. That scared me so fucking bad. <laughs> I knew you hit it. Could you tell me the name of the spy that got shot in here? How about the militia? Could you tell me a name of the general or commander in charge? Is there anyone in here that is watching us right now that may want to talk? Is there anyone in there with Alex right now? What, what does all these names mean? Annie, Edmund, Jordan? Could you tell me the name of the spy that got shot in here? How about the militia? Could you tell me the name of the general or commander in charge? Is there anyone in here that is watching us right now that may want to talk? Is there anyone in there with Alex right now? All right, here it is. Maryland. I'm gonna have to listen to that close. Cause the only issue with- What if that answered that question? While we were sitting here? All right, so I'm gonna use another device here. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be a red light, all right? All you gotta do is come close 
and talk into it. And then maybe we'll be able to hear you. Can I give it a try? All right. What is your name? I hated my life. What? I had a good life in the next season. I hated my life. <laughs> is there someone here with me? Did you die here? Do you remember what my name was? What were you here for? You know what, let's start out with an EVP. <laughs> Just why not? All right, so now we got that set up. There's a couple more things that are, are kind of set up, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of smooth in this time. We had the whole room booby trapped. I feel like maybe it took attention from some from different places, but I am gonna do an EVP. To any of the spirits or the people, the spy, the militia that wanna come talk, or any of the quote unquote ten spirits that reside here, I'm going to turn this little uh, this little box on. And pretty much what you can do if you yell in it, we can hear your voice. We tried it earlier. We don't know if we got anything. I don't think we got anything, but let's try it again. See what happens. So I'm starting now. And I'll hold it just so, so it's on. <laughs> I asked this earlier. I don't think we got a straightforward answer. The the man or the boy that was killed here shot through that door over there. Could you give us your name? And if so, if you give us your name, how old were you? Are there any other spirits from Harper's Ferry, from Hog Alley, that would want to come talk to us? You can talk in this. All right, let's do a review. Now, and I'll hold it just so. I don't know if you want to get close just in case. <laughs> a big yawn in the beginning. I love it. Every time. It's so unnecessarily loud. And if so, if you give us your name, how old were you? What the hell was that? You heard that? Mm -hmm. I heard 12. It's, it was really quick. I heard 12. Well, let's go back. Did you hear that? It sounded like it's like twelve. No, I heard. I heard twelve. Yeah, it was like. And if so, if you give us your name, how old were you? You heard it too, right? I heard it from, I've heard it from here that time now. That was not English. <laughs> Whatever I just said. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Twelve. Like that? Is that how you heard it? It's. It was like quick. It was like. 
what's your name? How old were you? Clear as day. It's like 12. It's almost like he's guttural because he got shot in the gut. Do we know, do we have a verified age of him? I, I don't think so. I don't remember. I mean, they didn't mention it. In I'm going to do a quick little search. See what happens. You ain't gonna find anything. I don't think I'll find anything. But it makes sense to they How old were you? Oh. Are you if you give us your name, how old were you? Yeah. Dude, what? that's. I mean, have we ever gotten anything on this thing? Mm -mm. Alright, so obviously, S is method. We all know what it is, but I'll still explain it. I'm going to take my sight and my hearing away. That way, they can ask questions uninterrupted. I just heard a scream. Can you hear us? Is there anyone with us right now? So, what is your name? Ezekiel. Hello, Ezekiel. Yeah, that's me. Why are you here? Were you part of the militia? Or were you a spy? It's a lot of weird noises. Not necessarily radio noise. Just weird. And I heard why. How did you die? Death. You died by death? What do you mean by death? I just got the best idea. What do you mean by death? I just got the best idea. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Voice said hate. Oh, you hate this music. Two. What that? Two? Two. He shot me. Oh. Who are we speaking with? Are you the spy? What 
do you mean by two? Do you have a door? Huh? A door. Oh. How old are you? I just heard a female scream. I can't even hear it anymore. Alright. Night one. Night one. We're gonna call it a night. We're gonna get some rest. Um, started off slow, just like I figured it would. I'm sure we'll do some uh, vloggy stuff tomorrow, and then you'll see the investigation for night two. Yep. So that's it. Night and night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. All right, people. Oh. Day two. Mm. Yes, sir. Here we be. Hey. <laughs> You could have waited until we turn the TV off. Well, I didn't. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. Take more, two. More natural there. Uh, Good morning. Got some coffee. Good morning, yeah. Oh. What's on the agenda for today? Go walk around a little bit. Wait till it gets dark. Then, and then. Back at it. Back at it. Tonight probably will be different because we spent an entire night with our energies in the room so we'll see what happens all right well whatever let's get a move on on that note so we're back at it going straight back into it uh what's the temperature gauge your, your rook's going off like crazy well, he has the camera in his phone right now. I mean, yeah, but. Thank you. If you get close to it again. Say yummy. More, uh, more colors will happen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's go back over here. Alright, if we're using our theory that we can't be looking at it and pay it no mind, then we'll see. That's everything that's happened, other than the earlier. So, again, I'm going to say this every time we start talking, we'd love to talk to everyone from Harper's Ferry. So last night we got an EVP, or we heard your voice. Someone said they were 12, or that's what we believe it says. So if our theory is right, was that the look, the the boy or the the man or whoever that got shot trying to seek safety? Move your hand again. Did you just move your hand? That wasn't you. A black ball of whatever it was just went up into the from here. City. City. There. Thank you. As I was explaining where it's at, it was over there, like right at our bags, and it went up. And it wasn't white, so it wasn't a reflection from a light. It was a black ball. And I thought it was your hand, so I'm like doing this. I don't know if you saw me kind of do one of these, try to. But it wasn't your hand. That freaked me out. That actually gave me chills. That was weird. Run away. Run away. Smoke. Run away, smoke. Fog. Battle. We got fog earlier. Fog. Face. Face. Did I see a face? Is that what that was? Someone's manipulating the temperature of our little cylinder over there. Somebody earlier while we were doing our thing set that music box off because they wanted us to go in that room. Could you tell me who that was or why you set it off to make us go in there? So back to my question. Someone wanted us to go in there. Why did you want us to go in there? Whoever set that uh, that music box off 
Could you tell me why? My battery just dropped two out of four bars at the same time. Oh, the energy. I can feel the energy shift. It just, like, it just went down two bars at once. My chest is heavy. Is that a gunshot? <laughs> Whatever it was, I, kind of, I felt it in the floor. I felt it rumble the entire blade. I'm dragging again. That sounds like furniture being pushed around. That's that's not what I was worried about. I didn't really notice that, but it sounded like there was like a couple footsteps on the stairs. Like right outside our door. But then I heard the dragging and that stopped. Again, two would be the spy, the spy and the guy that shot him. Guy that shot him. Maybe they're the yeah. only two that's stuck. Are there only two people that were involved in that shooting that happened here a long time ago that are still here right now? I heard that. It could have been a car. It could have been. That wasn't. I keep hearing it to my right. Did you hear that? I heard something. I thought Sound it was like up. near the door. I thought it was up. I keep hearing a lot of it to my right. Got dead quiet. Temperature thing has got off the wall. It got a little cooler. It's cooler in here. Hundred percent. Like after you said. Does it go blue for temperature? Yeah. Cold? Yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> Jam. Right after you just said that. Right after you just said that it hadn't gone off in a while. And you just said it's getting a little colder in here. That's that's whoever. That is, uh, are, is that you trying to say that you're still there? And you thought by me saying that it hasn't gone off in a while, that you're not there anymore? You're not spying? Because that's what you're doing, right? That's what you were, isn't it? Or in other words, watching from afar. You were a spy, weren't you? How about this? We believe from a poll earlier, Alex is staying in this room by himself. Me and Murray are gonna walk out, go do our thing. If you do something for us, Catherine. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. If you do something for us, not only will we do it once tonight, we'll do it twice. That is our wager. But you have to do something for us for us to do that. I'd like something specific. What do you want? So that box that you were walking in front of earlier tonight that was making music? Nope. That's not it? That's not what he wants? Nope. Wow. Okay, then tell us what you want. It's weird that as soon as it got a little colder in here, it just slowed down. My camera's about to die. Is it really? I got I swear to God. I don't think I've ever had your camera die. Yeah. Don't charge it, I got it. Might as well turn that light out. Cut that camera. I'm just gonna swap better. Just swap it out. Oh. Is someone making Murray's camera go down? Because that went down fast. It was full battery right before we started. So the something is either something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. And just so you know, I haven't charged mine since we first got here yesterday, and I am at three out of four bars. So you're still rocking. I'm telling you, this little hallway is the most haunted part part of this entire. It did start dying real quick as soon as I sat there, but that's but that's because the story is that is it's where right here. That's where all the energy is.
That's a big drop. That's a big drop. It would go blue if it was down. Uh, big spike. Blue is cold. Plants. Plants? So is he on to it? Is this a spy? It's okay if it is. We want to talk to you. We're not like those people that shot you. What if there's something just sitting somewhere going, I have plans. Rocking back and forth with plans. Could be. It could have been. It could have been the officer. This was a meeting place. They were making plans. They were making plans. What plans did you have? Plans to attack? All right, soldier. Hold on. Did you just whistle? 100. What does that mean? It was this. It sounded like. Uh huh. Well, not as distinct as that, though. It just said 100. I had plans. 100. 1800s. 1800s. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere now. Dad's right. back. Welcome back. That spot, for some reason. The That's cap all went off there, the REM pod's going off there. It's a hot spot. Can you step away from that, please? Please? Or get closer to it and make other lights go on. Your choice. Thank you. Did I scare you? That had some inflection in the voice, too. Did I scare you? We're not scared. We're excited. We love this. We love talking to people. We are We are not scared here. We are here with you. You can make us scared if you want. We are here for you. All right, ladies and gents, me and Murray are currently on Hog Alley. I don't like the fact that I can't see anywhere beyond your light right now. It's terrifying. There is going to be some background noise, obviously, because this is a public area. But I did bring the REM pod just in case anything wants to come up and talk. I'm calling out to the spirit of Danger Field, newbie. What happened to you is a tragedy. I would love it if you came over and talked to us. You could talk through this or you can come touch that. To any other spirit of Harper's Ferry that wants to talk to us. I swear to God, I just heard first steps. Yeah, I Costliest. I don't know how well you can hear that because we're outside with all this noise surrounding us, but it's going off. The temperature gauge is going off. Jennifer. There's just another footstep over here. Seven spirits. Seven spirits. Dangerfield, are you here? I'd love to talk to you. It's crazy, I can't even see you. Hmm. Like, at all, right here. If I put the light down, I can't see you at all. <laughs> Good. That's all. You want to show them how completely dark it is? I know you just I showed mean, them. I, but look up there. You can see the house. And stuff. Like, that's a cone. That thing that lights up is a traffic cone at the top of the alley. You might be able to see the windows on this building here. And then if I look this way, you can see the corner. I want to see a shadow. I want to see him, but I don't because I can't run if it gets crazy. <laughs> so obviously it is known what happened to Dangerfield here. It's a shitty way to go. A railroad spike through the neck. That's just... As soon as I start talking about the story. Is that you, Dangerfield? You can talk to us, we're not... We're not, we're not like the... The other people. 
If you can, you can show yourself to us. And then That's you can. Creepy. Good. Move back. You want me to move away from this? I don't like that I still can't see. Danger field. I have a feeling we're talking to you. Huh. I just heard another. I heard like a, a grunt just now. Like a huh. Yeah. But it almost sounded like... I haven't seen anybody else. I know, which is making me freak like, out. Like, dude, did I see him? Hmm. You, I mean, so, I don't think it would put be... Your, like, so, oh geez, right when we got here, before we started recording, out of the corner of my eye, we, we had walked to the top of the alley, and out of the corner of my eye, I swear on everything, I saw a shadow. It... Here's a car coming. I thought it was, I mean, you've seen the lights in these in this house here. I thought it was somebody in that house, but we haven't seen anybody else move inside that house. So I think it might've been, I think it might've been Dangerfield. Isn't he like- Move down, sacrifice. Move down, sacrifice. They mutilated him like they, his they literally sacrificed him to hogs, if you want to talk like that, as shitty as that sounds. I don't feel comfortable now. That's how we were feeling last night. But it's, it's almost like I, I'm, 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 I want to be like, yo, hey, we can go back now. But I'm also like, I don't want to go up there. I'm going to cut our turn on EVP. I'm going to see if we can catch anything outside. I'm wondering if the wind and everything making more white noise, hypothetically, will give it more of a something to bounce off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and. All right, EVP has started. There's a car coming, so if it stops, we'll just stop EVP. <clears throat> Danger field, newbie. Did Murray see you out of the corner of his eye when we first got here? Did you find peace after you sadly passed away? Dangerfield, is your soul stuck here? I know you died tragically, but are you bound? Did you see that? Your light's flickering, like it's losing. Look at my legs. <laughs> Last question for you. Mr. Newbie, do, are you watching us right now? Do you hear us? And DVP. All right, DVP has started. There's a car coming, so if it stops, we'll just stop EVP. Dangerfield, Newbie. Did Murray see you? Did you catch something? Did you catch something? Let me see, let me see the light. Me... While Jake was reviewing the EVP, I decided to start taking a bunch of pictures of Hog Alley on my phone. I took 14 pictures total, and I didn't think I captured anything until... This figure did not appear in any other picture I took. We believe this was an apparition of Dangerfield Newbie. Oh. Stuck here. I hit I hit something in the camera. I don't know what it was. Are you bound? 
Bro, we caught him. Dude, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe There's it. There's no way that's a flare either. No. My heart. <laughs> we got some cool shit, we got feelings, we got stuff back and forth, and now we have a picture of it. Dude. Dude, I can't find it. Alright, we need to go. We'll, we'll review this back at the... I cannot believe we just got that picture. We have come into contact with Dangerfield himself.